and the violence recorded in recent months in Ecuador is forcing the authorities to assess the risks of the electoral process that will take place in August. For this reason, 16 institutions of the Ecuadorian state have met to implement a state or a plan that includes police protection for the presidential candidates. Here is the report from our correspondent Elena Rodriguez. the National Security Table in Quito on Wednesday. The objective is to draw up a roadmap for articulate measures to guarantee the normal development of the presidential and legislative elections and the popular consultation scheduled for August 20. As the National Electoral Council, we are at the head of this table and we are taking up the challenge that implies interinstitutional coordination. However, this is not a solitary task and we understand that the issue of insecurity in the country is not an easy one and cannot be taken lightly. Therefore, we condemn and categorically reject all acts of violence, wherever they come from. The signing of collaboration agreements intended to prevent acts of violence. The aim to guarantee the maintenance of public order at all stages of the electoral process. The Minister of the Interior assured that the eight presidential candidates would be protected by the police during the election campaign. The police will not tolerate violent actions. If we have to act with firmness, we will do so, with respect for human rights. Yes, but with firmness, because it cannot be possible that people who want to create chaos in the country use this democratic process to create it. On Tuesday evening, the political group Revolución Ciudadana denounced the detonation of an explosive device in a demonstration in the city of Huaquillas, in the southwestern province of El Oro. We have no injuries, and immediately after the event, there was a police presence accompanying the event, and this is a strategy of the operations that are planned. Any event that has a certain level of risk is accompanied by the police. Climate factors are also among the risks to be considered. A simulation will be carried out together with the National Secretariat of Risk Management to identify the possible scenarios that could affect the electoral process due to the development of El Niño. The election security table will be made of more than 16 state institutions, 70 crisis rooms, and 14 operational rooms in the 24 presidential delegations will be activated during the process. Elena Rodriguez, Telesur, Ecuador.